everyone has hobbies, right? I'm sure you have one. Oh, you can't go around saying things like that? How am I supposed to answer? Don't be ridiculous. You sure are a silly person. Welcome back, everyone, to episode five. I want to thank everyone last week for offering your ideas on the dancer. I saw a lot of interesting takes and arguments there. Really good suggestions. I've been running a poll in the community tab on this channel. So thanks for getting your vote in. There should be a final runoff going on right now. So make sure you vote there. I did say there would be some big things coming up for the Folden Deer. And, well, this isn't really one of them. This is just a grindy battle where we can see Mini Sylvain in the background, watching as Hilda gets a point of strength that he'll never get. But we've got some paralogues coming up. So I know this season seems to have been moving really fast compared to the others, but now that we have those paralogues, we might be slowing down progress through the story a little bit. We're certainly slowing down the progress of our stats with these level ups here. Strength Raphael magic. might be a dark mage, but he still has way more strength than magic. Huh. And he is not working to fix that in any way. Lysithia. I, I believe she has the... No, just one above the minimum, maybe. Oh, she got another point of strength. Purposely. I uh, don't know how much harder you can try than that, really, Lysithia. Here's Claude getting some incidental healing experience. He's getting strength, too, but that's not really the point here, Claude. Marianne! Rocking her crest at the same time as she gets a critical hit to deal way, way more than anticipated. Oh, wow. And it was not worth the hype at all. Impressive. It, was it though, Lawrence? Naturally. I mean, I still think it wasn't that impressive, but you got a level out of it. I thought I gave it my all. You seem to have a lot of misconceptions today, Lawrence. Here's Leone coming in with a level off of healing. She's a bit ahead of Claude since Claude took some time off, had to rethink some things, calibrate all his wind and stuff. Oh, even stronger than I look, yeah? Y you look 13 strong. Uh, that's life. Uh. Still, have you been getting back into the existentialism kick? Well, the enemy certainly should have if they wanted to live. Is this power really mine? No, magic is someone else's job right now. You really want to think about strength. Strength, Marianne. Well, strong enough for MVP. If you want to be a leader, you have to know how to get along with different types of people, right? Some difficulty with Acheron, apparently. My father wishes me to return home and settle it. Alas, I must be off. Have you no dignity? Wyleth was probably actually right there. This does sound pretty tough from what I know of it. Far more enemies than I expected. Oh, and here I thought Count Gloucester would be too busy to send his soldiers here. Oh, he was. He That's why we have this I'll motley crew. Have to deal with you little meddlers swiftly and decisively. You hear that? We're meddling kids. Is there a mystery to solve? That is Acheron. If we can deal with him, that ought to scare the rest of these rats off. We need not actually kill him. So long as we cut his escape off convincingly enough, that should suffice. So you're saying we have to kill everyone but him and then attack him? Incidentally, take note of those drawbridges. They can only be operated from one of the banks. Yeah, I'm sure that'll be 100% relevant, and we won't just pull the aggro we of everyone until Acheron comes at us. Okay, let's try to get into an initial position. We don't want to go 
out anywhere since I don't think we have the defensive capacity to take on a whole bunch of units at the front lines here, so let them storm the keep. Wyleth getting some severe overkill does not enjoy the mild uncomfortability of that heat magic. She's not wearing pants, so she was prepared for it. She dressed light. Okay, uh, this is quite dangerous. We're going to have to be pretty conservative with how we actually get attacks going. Hilda's Thoron would have been nice if it hit. It helps that we have a couple of actual archers and someone with Thoron. But we need to be careful about who is where, since we have that Pegasus coming from the right as well. Well... This certainly simplifies things. Getting rid of that guy opens up some attack paths. And yes, she did indeed do it, Ignatz. I'm glad you are here to celebrate murder. Balthus, of course, did not do it, as Ignatz says. I think we just have to reposition here. Get Marianne and Lysithia ready to take some attacks. Claude and... Leone are somewhat dodgy. We'll do some healing. And we have Lawrence out front. That might end up being a bad idea. Okay, he dodged. So far, so not bad. Oh, our uh, luck may be running out. Okay, still alive. 2 HP is as much as you need. Okay, that Impossible. dealt two or more damage. Oh, wow. Look at the mess you made. Yeah, yeah, Raphael, you kidnapped Flane. I don't know how much room you have to really be a good critic. Okay, we'll have to try a different tactic. There's just not enough space up in the keep to put everyone in a good position. If we can keep Marianne here, and... Oh, come on! Okay, then. I guess that won't work either. Or at least we'll have to do some other stuff first. Um, I guess we just have to try and be a little more aggressive. Okay, then. Uh, at least Hilda is providing that linked attack value. That'll make it more likely that this blaze hits. Okay, we get to blaze it, as it were. And that makes this direction a little easier to handle. And now we can re-roll the 70% on this. And it is okay now, Marianne. Thanks for blowing a Divine Pulse, though. I got this. Do you, Raphael? Somehow I don't actually believe you. You can't double with your magic, and it's not... Powerful enough to kill anything. Uh, just light him up, I guess. I stand ready. Okay, Lawrence stands to be a little more protected and has exactly enough power with Hilda's buff to take this guy out. It could get rough. Yes, it could, Lysithia. Your goal is to try and prevent that using your sewing skills. And I guess you have a more senior position in the sewing club now. Okay, Ignatz, come on out. So, oh, you can't actually kill this guy with punches. We'll have to get a tiny bit lucky with this helm splitter, and of course not. Why did I even say it? Uh, everything's been going okay up until then, but I guess we can't count on it right now. So we'll physic up Wyleth since she's out in front. Let's make an attack here with Balthus since that will let us re-roll on Ignatz's attack. Okay, good shot there, Balthus. Now we'll put Ignatz over here. And I'm still real nervous about that Helm Splitter missing. We'll just... Really? Can't even get the dodge from the fading blow. 
Okay, well, if Quad can finish this off, and he can go into Mega Dunk on him mode and get up to level 15. I expected as much. Maybe set your expectations a little higher, and Hilda, your cheerleading, I guess, is appreciated, but not really warranted for a level like that. Here's a level out of Wyleth. You won't hear Hilda cheering for that one, though. Can't double that one, so it gets to live for another fight. Ooh, keep away from her indeed, and he'll stay far away when he is buried. Hilda, of course, can't get the counterattack. I'm actually pretty good at this. You say that. And I guess that merchant military is going to make you ever so slightly better at it. Great counterattack there from Wyleth, getting the fancy jump and shoot. Oh no. We got ourselves blown up. Arson is our thing. We are really feeling the wrath of copyright infringement. <sighs> well, we can't go on with Ignots all exploded, so... I'll have to try a different Ready, set of tactics. We'll need to... Uh, I don't know what we need to do, but if we kill this guy, maybe things turn out a little different. Okay, the reroll worked. That means Ignatz won't take the damage from that attack. So he should be set up to live through that gambit at least. Get a crit here from Wyleth. Did he? Such power dwells within. Get the same level, except now Wyleth's bragging about it. Good dodge there. That might not be the one we'd prefer to dodge if given the option. Marianne doesn't land her crit anymore. That kind of sucks. Can Hilda hit this time? She can. So fate's changed a wee bit. That's more your attitude. And it'll help by maybe making you hit with Thoron a little more. And uh, Fortune turns the other direction for Wyleth over on the right. Ooh, do we get a fancy zero crit? No! Marianne gets 15 in by surprise and then goes to precisely one hit point. Does anyone want to take it away? No, we get to keep it. We will be mindful of this Pegasus that could go and kill anyone at any moment. We have to spend a whole bunch of weapon charges with this curved shot to take it out. And we nail that hit. And get some incidental healing on Wyleth, which is always nice. Now, Balthus can take out this frontline swordsman with his steel bow. And now we can move Leone out. Uh, she is really fast and looks like can light this guy up, no problem. I, I would too. Your enemy is dead. I don't know what wins are other than defeating enemies. Uh, you really have Sylvain, both strength and magic. Make sure you're sharing the stats with other members of the squad, if you could. Couldn't nail an 86% thunder. At least that gets her to 69 away from the next level, which is hilarious. Get uh, some combo punches in from Ignatz to take out that other Cavalier. And now, Claude, you gotta help us out here. Uh, this group is real dangerous. 65 is good enough. Thunder hits. And Claude gets to level 15. I'm not done yet. I sure hope not, given that that was not very helpful. Though, if you somehow have started Bridget School of Sorcery training with Petra, despite her not being in our class, you're well on the path. Ooh, we mastered Armor Knight. Because what we're really concerned with is defense when we're attacking, not being attacked. 
Marianne. You can go in with the Steel Axe, risk-free, and you get the kill. Okay, Raphael has a curved shot, because he never learns Thoron or anything like that. So there we go, taking it down to 12 and tantalizingly close to a level as we tend to be. Lawrence, 100%, takes this out with a couple punches. And flexes his muscles, which you can see Ooh, without his shirt. Nice? Go ahead and hand it over. How can they hear you? They're so far away, and you are not talking particularly loud. Thieves, do not allow them to escape. We have some other priorities to deal with first here, Lawrence. Uh, okay, nine turns left to get this done. Claude, try to sagitate this thing out of the way. We don't nail a crit, but get a good amount of damage Stay off. Focused. Uh, we are staying focused on staying alive. I do hope that's what you meant. Wyleth will conserve arrows by getting a headshot here. I knew you had it in you. Uh, we all knew she had the murderous spirit in her. Um, okay, we get exactly 13 with a smash. Good job, Lysithia. Get to level 13. I don't have time for failure. Did you lose your planner? I thought we talked about this last time. All right, we'll reposition. Marianne still has her hit point, so we'll give her a few more from Leone and Hilda. And Raphael's been studying faith a little bit since he has to understand his enemies in the church. You very much do, particularly in the magic category, which I notice you didn't do in favor of some strength. Thieves trying to run away. Well, we're getting a whole bunch of new friends up in here. Marianne, of course, misses, but lives through that Pegasus attack. And we got a... Whole new can of worms over there. The enemy is on the move. Do not let them through. Yeah, thanks. We we saw the enemy phase just as well as you did, Lawrence. Raphael, can you one-shot these Pegasi? That steel bow, you can. Good job. Strength in action. Indeed, that does use the strength score. Wyleth can also one-shot these. There we go. Uh, no, you had very little room for error in terms of the amount of damage you were doing. We'll heal up Lysithia with Claude, and we'll take out Ignatz's trusty hand axe, and uh, lose track of it, so Ignatz has to go and find it, pick it back up. But at least he's providing some linked attack value for everyone else. He'll help out Marianne, maybe. And looks like that actually did help, having Ignatz over there looking to pick up his hatchet. <laughs> and that guy actually took damage from the Devil Sword he was holding. That's kind of funny. Thoron coming down from Hilda. And now maybe Leone can finish something off. Bolganone means it doesn't get a counterattack. I'll celebrate later. Uh, kind of seems like you're celebrating now, what with the level up music. Do over? Uh, no, you actually don't want a do over on that one because you desperately need the magic. Balthus can exactly get this kill. Good job. And Balthus gets to pick up that devil sword somehow. I guess he had magnetic arrows. Great dodge there from Leone. More new friends coming on in. Let's see. Uh, looks like we can get a real good gambit over there, maybe from Leone. Lysithia taking these hits from the Pegasus Knight. And so I think we have Raphael in a position where he can get rid of this one. 
Curve Shot takes him up to 100%, which is always good. Now, I don't think we can actually kill that one with Wyleth. So we'll just take the double attack here on the Cavalier. And we'll just hope and pray that Lawrence can win this coin flip. Everything is ready. Everything is ready, but will it work? Doesn't seem like it was actually ready, Lawrence. Uh. Alright. So we'll try something different. We'll go over here first and see if Hilda can use a poison bomb. 75%. You're hyping it up a little too much. It actually worked. Okay. An idea is apparently okay to have. Oh dear. Maybe I was too lazy. Your words, not mine. Charming. Okay. That simplifies things over on this side. Let's get to it. Uh Leone still needs to stand next to a male unit to get her damage buff. Goes in with the fire. Balthus, you'll want to stand right next to this archer. Oh, you can just put a stick in there. And there it goes. Good to be king. Level 14 for Balthus. Uh, that's life. Gotta put those Sart books down, man. Okay, Marianne, what can you accomplish? Uh, gotta use Helm Splitter or the Steel Axe, huh? Smash with the Steel Axe is the most accurate we've got. And you demonstrate that we didn't need to worry about it too much. Uh, hiding behind that shield, she gets to level 14. I wonder how much more I can learn. Eh, we, we got some defense. Well, Luck is Ready pretty good anytime. for an armor unit since they constantly have to risk critical hits, so can't be too mad at that. Ignat's tearing through to get up to level 16. Notice how much higher his strength That's is than Balthus's. Is. It really is, Ignatz. Uh, maybe try to think of how we can be a little cheerier. Uh, since we don't think Lawrence can win a coin flip, we're going to run away on this side and try to reposition all of the enemies. Why, Scythia still standing. And now an attack coming for Lawrence. It looks like he's going to live through it, though. Three hit points is kind of a lot from the standpoint of non-armor units taking hits. Uh, Alright, this is better than a coin flip, I guess. Uh, light him up. I have an idea. Will your idea work? Still no. I got this. Did you just not put any explosives in that barrel? Was it just a lie this whole time? Uh. Well, Plan B is to brute force it. We're really low on pulses, so we'll see if we can make this work somehow. Wyleth. Uh. Oh, you can kill this. And even get the dodge. Okay, Archer down. That's one of the more dangerous ones. But Lawrence is just standing here saying, Oh, look at my 3 HP. I totally won't die. Uh, we'll fix that up with Claude, I guess. And maybe Lysithia can remove this huge liability standing right next to Lawrence. No? Okay, then. Uh, gotta be careful here, Hilda. Uh, just try to kill this thing. Thor on one. Oh, that was the only one we had. Beautiful. Balthus can deal a little bit of damage here. Now we have Marianne and Ignatz left to try and get these kills. Marianne's got Helm Splitter, so she can split right through this helm. Demonstrating that if you're an armor unit, maybe don't wear the helm like all of our units do, so that it can't get split. 
Ignatz, of course, pretty reliable as a killing machine. It did indeed work out on the left. We'll see if it worked out on the right. Ooh, Acheron coming for us. Lawrence gets one punch in before being lit on fire again. Okay, I'm kind of in suspense here since Lawrence might just die from that cavalier standing next to him. Such power dwells within. Could you try spreading those good levels out a little bit, Wyleth? I mean, I guess the whole point of this run is that you're a good fighter but have no idea how to get anyone else any training. So it fits, but... Okay, Lawrence is down. Uh, it's not impossible, it's already happened once in this battle. <sighs> okay, we gotta rewind kind of a lot. Uh, how far back can we really go? Probably before you trolled us again with that gambit, Lawrence. We know that Wyleth can just off the archer. So we should probably have her do that again, since it's an outcome we really like. That is that. So she even gets the dodge again. Ready and willing. Okay. Now we can use Claude's action to delete this cavalier, since I believe we actually have two Sagittes to fire. Sorry, there we go. The victory is mine. Now, Lawrence has a bow. So we'll use that. Take this down to four. And then Raphael can just finish it with a mini bow. Should've trained better. So that goes down. And now we just have to worry about Lysithia dying over there. Uh, Hilda can go in with... Thunder here. That should simplify things for Marianne taking it out. So we can just uh, split on in with the training axe for a hundred percent hit this time. There we go. And hmm, what is left to accomplish here? We can move in Balthus, fire away with the steel bow. And it should be easy enough for Ignatz to finish that one off like before. Just a single punch will do. I actually won. Don't know why you're surprised at this point. And now Leone can move over and physic up Lysithia, so she should be in okay shape. Oh no. Raphael getting struck by lightning. And Wyleth taking some damage. But when you attack her, I guess she only gets stronger. Such power dwells within. And a Pegasus over on this side. Something Balthus will need to worry about. Good dodge there from Wyleth. Keeps her in the fight. And now we have a little bit of a puzzle over here, since Balthus can't one-shot this Pegasus. But steal as much damage as possible, and we'll see who can clean it up. Uh, Hilda, what can you do? Not quite kill that Pegasus unless you use your remaining Thoron. Oh, you have a bow. What am I talking about? Just curved shot with that bow. Hilda takes it down and is providing linked attack value against the Cavalier and the Mage. So now we've got a 65 we really need to land with Ignatz. Woo! Finally, one of these gambits works out. And he deserves that extra point of authority. Okay. So he should be fine getting attacked by those two things. His resilience is pretty high, and we debuffed their attack anyway. Leone, uh, if you can light these up, cause a little bit of a forest fire, that would be really convenient. Take some pressure off of us to actually kill them all. Well, 
You, you killed one in the epicenter, but you get the idea. Now we can pull Wyleth back over here. And so she'll provide some linked attack value to attack both of these. And Raphael can just stand here and shoot it. Point blank, but not like the good combat art way, just literally standing next to it with a ranged weapon. Still do have room to grow in that magic column. I wish you would think about it. Oh, looks like Claude is fast enough to double wind this guy. Which, of course, doesn't kill it, because that's asking a little much. Uh, Lysithia, can you handle this? A Helm Splitter looks like it'll get the job done. Just uh, be careful you don't get 3 percent and miss. There we go. And here's Lawrence with all three of his hit points. He's going to finish off this Cavalier that got lit up by Leone. And that'll give him a 15th level. I'm still not satisfied. You should be satisfied with that. It was both offensive stats and some defense. Who could say no to that? Great dodge there, Ignatz, and you even double it to take it out. And Acheron is coming for us, so we should be able to finish this mission in time. Ignatz takes a little bit of damage. That thief is getting away, which is unfortunate, but he wasn't holding anything super essential. Ignat's going to punch this nerd out. And then we'll do some repositioning. So we're waiting for a lot of Acheron's forces to come at us. So we'll have Wyleth wait in the forest for them. Predictable. Good dodge there from Wyleth. Looks like she nails both counterattacks and keeps that archer out of the fight. One swordsman up at the front line. I don't know how you saw that, given that it's way over there and you're facing the wrong way. Do some more repositioning. Lawrence, move on in with your bow. And then who do we want to get this kill? Leone is close enough to take it, so she's on a fire kick today. And that'll help Sylvain get to level 10. He has a paralog coming up, and now he can be a pretty bad unit to use still. Claude, from his incidental healing, is going to get to level 16. I'm not done yet. I sure hope not. You really need to figure out which stats actually do useful things there, Claude. And we'll move Wyleth here as we wait for Acheron and his cronies to come on in. Hilda can heal up Ignatz for some experience. And Raphael can heal up Lawrence for some experience. Now we'll actually take out Acheron and finish this thing up. Who are you? I'd appreciate it if you could just not get in my way. I'm afraid impeding people's progress is Wyleth's whole thing. Now we will give Lawrence the honor of finishing things off. Up, Acheron. We are in the right. If you try to remain here any longer, what you'll kill me? A tiny kid like you kills someone like me? <laughs> oh, that's too funny. An animal like you cannot be allowed to run amok. We will settle this here and now. You don't want to mock you Lawrence when he has his shirt off, man. By all means. But it's not my fault if it ends badly. Well, technically it is, since you were here as the aggressor. Not even oh, worth a what? level. I lose! I give up! I surrender! Please don't kill me! You have my thanks, Professor. Please go on ahead. I will clean up here and then report to my father. See you back at the it monastery. Looks like you already cleaned up the body. Now, for the time being, may I trust you to decide how we may best make use of Thursus? 
I bet if I could use it, you would trust me to, right? And well, we at least got an archer certification for Sylvain out of it. Deal, really. It's a three-way battle that relies heavily on strategy. Guess I have to do everything myself around here. Are you sure you can handle it? You insult me. And no, I can't. Pray like you've never prayed before. You cannot stop me. We can't do that many paralogues or auxiliary battles in a row. The battle of the eagle and lion is set to begin at long last. Everyone, show off the results of your dedicated training. Yeah, we trained Remember, in something. We're not just fighting for honor. There's a prize at stake. It's almost time to begin. Steal yourselves, everyone. A reward sounds pretty good. Okay. And well, remember that permadeath is off for this battle, so that is shockingly relevant. We have a lot of unrecruited students we're actually going to fight. Didn't see a whole ton of that in the previous seasons, since New Game Plus made it pretty easy to recruit everyone. We should take this chance to break through the Black Eagle's flank. You know, go nuts. Even Ash is totally ignoring us and just immediately trying to get into the Black Eagle fight, huh? Despite his cavalry friends coming for Leone. Oh, that one's running away too. They're just totally abandoning their one person they sent off to fight us. Given our reputation, I'm not surprised they dedicated a total of one unit. But, you know, he can still feel a little insulted. We will move up Raphael, since he has a pretty good amount of defense. I don't think we can strategize too much around the ballista in the center, since it can just hit so many units, and we need to make some kind of forward progress. So we'll just do what we need to to finish this Cavalier off in front. And Lysithia ends up getting that final kill. Now we'll reposition such that we have the left squad and the right squad. We have Ferdinand coming in. A good dodge there from Claude makes that Ballista not relevant this round. And Wyleth gets a counterattack. Pegasi flying on toward the right squad. I will draw the Black Eagles out, Your Highness. Yes. And while you are doing so, we will take control of the Central Hill. So, uh, it looks like Dadu is actually not going to be the one that is drawing them out. That'll be some of his armored friends. Raphael and Ash get in an archer battle. And Ingrid is just going to start massacring her way through some Black Eagle units. Okay, then. Ignatz uh, looks like he's going to win the Battle of the Cinnamon Rolls and tear through Ash. We'll do some healing over on left squad. Better than before. Technically, yes, since we have literally more options. It can't be bad. Fire away there. Lawrence takes it down to 3 HP. Wyleth. Uh, this is a little dangerous. But we need to thin out these numbers somehow. Crest of Flames means we take this out in one shot, which is nice. And we even get that HP restoration from the crest. So Wyleth might not be totally dead. Lysithia gets to punch out this Cavalier and get to level 14. There's still a long way to go. There is, but that level is really good, even though it's only three stats. 
especially in comparison to what I've regularly expected from this squad. So we'll move everyone up. Wyleth is still a little isolated, so I'm a bit worried about that. Caspar gets a good exchange there with that blue lion cavalier. Oh, well. Looks like Wyleth is channeling Ferdinand's talents from Season 1, getting a crit with that mini bow. Claude taking some ballista damage. Wyleth actually lives through the assault of both Ferdinand and a Pegasus. And the Black Eagles are moving their mages up. Just as Dedu is advancing, he may be walking into a meat grinder of magic there. Ingrid takes out the Ballista, so looks like that'll be the last time Claude gets hit by that. Uh, that Cavalier getting a little too far ahead of the rest of the forces. And Hubert doubles that one down. So I can't say that the Blue Lions tactics here are looking all that good. We can move Balthus back to try and help out Wyleth. She does need a little bit of assistance to deal with both Ferdinand and the Pegasus. Do land that curved shot, so Balthus gets to take credit for that. We'll move Claude up to heal Marianne. Careful now. We'll keep Wyleth here. She just needs to hit with one of these mini bow shots. And of course she goes for the head. Should I have held back? Not against Ferdinand. I don't think we would have lived if you did. We'll move Lysithia and Marianne on up to try and pull some units out. And we'll reposition left squad. I don't think any of them can take an attack from Felix. Hubert tearing through some armor. Even Caspar managing to deal some serious damage. I think. And Hubert gets some healing from Linhart, who has not discovered his true talents as being a war master as yet. Dorothea raising everyone's morale, which I guess you can expect from the Bard class. Hubert gets a terrific dodge there and makes Dudu look a little silly for his tactics. So Hubert, I guess, wins this round of Battle of the Retainers. Ingrid coming on in and doesn't care about being completely isolated. Uh, Black Eagles still holding their own. And Hubert gets to kill again. Even more morale from wanton murder. Oh, Hubert's down, so Hilda doesn't get to engage in the Battle of the Retainers. That's boring. One off from being hilarious, so I guess we just get to deal a tiny bit of damage. Claude did indeed get Thursis. I don't know if trusting him with it is really what Lawrence was up to. But he has it, so we can chip in some damage on Felix. And we have to try and finish Felix off this round, lest he just kill somebody. So Lawrence can go in with that shot. And now Ignatz is going to go for a risky fading blow. One dodge and well, one is all he needed to live. So I'll take it. <laughs> I'm getting better. Uh, you are. You need some more speed. Leone. Alright, light him up. And Felix goes down in a blaze of, uh, I wouldn't call it glory, since he's losing to us. Thank you. Raphael will heal up his good buddy Ignatz and band leader of Ignatz and the Victors. Hilda gets one Thoron, goes for two, and that was an 87, come on. Caspar takes out that Cavalier. Thank you. Linhart heals up some Rando. And the Rando goes on in to take the heel tile. The Black Eagle's positioning, I must say, has been much better. That wasn't a particularly good decision. 
Annette coming on in, totally isolated against us here. Ingrid kills that random mage. And Hilda gets her vengeance and gets to level 16. Oh dear, maybe I was too lazy. You know, I'll take it. Two offensive stats, you use both of them regularly, whatever. Um, I don't think a Thoron is really that worth it here. So we'll hope everyone else can kill Annette on their own. We'll use a curved shot here from Raphael, take her down to 18. Balthus can attack from a safe range, but let's just rally up Ignatz. And uh, let's see his newest hit signal from Ignatz and the Victors, which is Axe Through Annette. It's a very specific, angry song. But it seems I've developed a bit of a complex about it. Yeah, killing more women with names. It's a little disturbing of a pattern there, Ignatz. Uh, okay. We'll keep Mary Ann on the ballista, I guess. She can deal literal damage. Nice try. Never mind, she can't deal any damage of either literal or figurative variety. We'll move Lawrence up a little bit. Looks like the miracle goes down on the priest. So the Lawrence thing is a risky move since Ingrid seems like she wants to go in for kills on some of the Black Eagles. Oh no, she's coming for Lawrence. This could be bad. All right, Lawrence down. How could I lose? Someone has clearly devised a conspiracy against me. Someone who envies my position. Well, the conspiracy was just we took a gamble that failed, or at least that's what Wyleth will tell herself. Uh. All right, we gotta get things. Started and ended, it seems. I was hoping we could give a big load of XP to somebody, but it looks like Wyleth's just going to keep it to herself. Having stolen Ferdinand's talents after killing him, I guess. Sorry. Leone gets to level 18. And I would say that that was a superb level, but for getting no magic. All right, Marianne manages to not get doubled by Caspar, keeping her in the fight. Thank you. The rando gets more Linhart healing. And now we have a bunch of Axe users up front that we gotta deal with. Claude. Caspar has a whole bunch of resilience? What is this? Okay, we gotta... Make some kind of vulnerability. In this, situation, in this situation, we need a lot of help. So there we go. A little bit of damage and a lot of vulnerability opened on up. Leone, can you finish this? Uh, you can. Uh, you need to get a little lucky to not get killed yourself. Well. I'll celebrate later. You get to take Caspar out. That's all there is to know. And Leone learns Miracle. Balthus can take over the Ballista and accomplish exactly nothing with it. Excellent. Ah, I finally get it. Get what? What exactly did you learn from accomplishing nothing? Uh, Wyleth. It turns out is still a very strong unit. Goes in for 28 damage total. The glory of progress. And Sylvain gets to level 11. Guess I've gotten better. You have, though not quite at the thing you're currently working on. Okay, Marianne. Can you can kill this with a gambit. And now was good to not fail a 90%, so she gets the kill. 
Raphael, heal up Hilda. And we'll see what the enemies have in store. The Eagles still have Arando, Linhart, Petra, and Edelgard. Marianne lives another day. So we know Balthus can't accomplish anything on the Ballista. He can deal five damage with the Steel Bow. That gives him a literal amount of experience. Raphael appears to be winning the Battle of the Beefcakes there since he has a lot more strength. Claude will deal somewhat more damage with that critical, but still not enough to get a kill here, which opens up space for Lysithia to get the experience. She needs to smash in with that Iron Axe, but it is good enough. Not good enough for a level, mind you. Okay, repositioning time. We have to take on Petra, Linhart, and Edelgard still. Get a little bit of passive healing there for Marianne. We open this up to find a Killer Lance. I don't know that anyone can use it right now, but that's always fun. Let's do some repositioning and stuff. We'll have Raphael take a pot shot at Linhart. Before moving up Hilda. Leone will be the one that we have trying to absorb the Lin hit. And she takes it just fine, I guess. I guess that's why they don't have a support in their paralogue, because they started off fighting. Okay, we get a shot off there with Balthus, who technically deals damage. Wyleth, uh, we may need your help here. We don't want you to kill him. We have a bunch of experience we want to dole out. So we take him down to two and get Wyleth up to level 19. Another step forward. She gets all these absurdly good levels. Okay, looks like Lysithia can put an end to Linhart's role in the battle and still not level up. Now we have to take on Petra. Uh, th that's a little dangerous. We'll have Leone try it out again. She's fast enough to not get doubled by Petra, so that goes okay. We did have to equip her with heal instead of an attack, so that her speed would be high enough. But Petra's really dodgy, too. So Wyleth will get things started with a lucky shot. And now we have to try and make things a little more vulnerable. So with some support, Marianne will ask whether it's okay, and it is. So that pushes her back a little bit. Raphael can take a 69% shot, or this 89% one, which isn't as funny, but is probably more effective. And now my Scythia can go for a curved shot to try and put an end to Petra. There it goes. That finally gets her to level 15. Another point of strength. 13. My Scythia's as strong as both is now. That's amazing. Now we have to deal with Edelgard, and I think Dimitri is the only blue lion left. So we'll have Wyleth try to draw her out. If you stand in my way, I will cut you down until you have no blood left to bleed. Yeah, I deserve that. What? I was just trying to rally your spirits. Now to victory! Alright, looks like Wyleth lives through it, gets a little vampirism from her bow. I guess that's the dark side of the sewing club. Gotta stay pretty far away from Edelgard to make sure she doesn't counter us and kill us. So here comes a little pinprick from Balthus. He has 69 to go for the next level. Nice. Claude can also get a little Princess, pinprick in. Up. There's a rat right by your imperial feet. <laughs> I... <sighs> How dare you make a fool of me? You will not rile me with such childish tactics. Ah, so the sheer terror in your eyes was something else entirely. My mistake. Anyway, it was only a joke. 
You yeah, really a lot of our builds are just jokes. just jokes. It won't work. You must stand and fight. Yeah, we're going to stand over here and fight, if that's okay with you. Okay, speaking of standing over here, we have a Thoron left with Hilda. Takes her down to two, so we should be able to try and get the kill with someone like Marianne. What can you do? The gauntlets obviously won't do it. Uh, training Axe won't do it. Steel Axe Helm Splitter looks like the only thing that'll get through, and it works. Level 15 for Marianne. And she gets a tenth point of strength! You can learn a lot more than that, but you're in the double digits. Is that everything? Yes, that's the last of them. Thank you, Marianne. As long as we have you and Claude, the Golden Deer House is unstoppable. I hate to admit it, but it seems this is as far as the Black Eagle House goes. I don't know about unstoppable there. We, we, it's only 10 strength on Marianne. But uh, Ignatz is keeping the energy up. So let's keep on repositioning, getting some healing XP, and try to use some similar tactics against Dimitri. How far can I push myself with you as my foe? This will be a great chance to test our metal. Hour? Who, who's the hour in that sentence? Well, you will fail. Ow. Okay. It looks like Dimitri didn't have quite as much defense going royalty. on as Edelgard. If you promise to let me have the prize, I'll let you take the honor of victory. Do we have a deal? Enough of your foolishness. I... Wait a moment. You are trying to anger me, is that it? <laughs> Saw right through me, did you? Well, if there's no deal, I'll just have to win this thing fair and square. I will happily face you here and now. Do not hold back, Claude. Well, I mean, the whole conceit of what we're doing is kind of holding back, since if Claude had any kind of bow, he probably would have dealt a little more damage there. But I digress. Let's, uh... Have Sewing Club Initiate Balthus deal a tiny bit of damage before we rally up Lysithia here. Uh, Hilda, go ahead and heal up Wyleth to get some XP. And then we'll see if Lysithia can finish things off. Uh, Smash doesn't do it, a Helm Splitter will. So we'll risk this. And we even get the crest activation, just like when we took out Lenato. I'd love to do this again if possible. I suppose my training wasn't enough. The Blue Lions have no choice but to retreat. That is the end of this year's Battle of the Eagle and Lion. And the winners are... Preposterous. The Golden Deer. A victory worthy of a feast. We did so well, there's no way we didn't secure that prize. It's kind of unbelievable, to be honest. Lysithia did it! Thanks everyone for watching. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and get your vote in for who the dancer should be. Thanks, and see you next time.